Hello, Victoria Royals fans. It's time for the game re recap of the Royals' first game of the season at home, the home opener and their and their season opener. They played the Vancouver Giants in WHL hockey action. It's October 2nd, 2021. It was actually the first game. It was actually dubbed the return of the roar. All the fans attending the game that wanted one of these um, signs got one. And the game, they dubbed the return of the roar. Hockey is finally back in Victoria after 581 days away from our fans. The team is ready to get back on the ice and hear the roar. The Royals say we missed hearing all the crowd cheering in the stands. The um, the game pro was preceded by uh, by about a 15 or 20 minute ceremony where they had different um, healthcare workers and different um, um, service people and people that had um, owned um, certain businesses that came on the ice to salute them for all their hard work um, during the last um, year and a half during the pandemic. Then Al Farabee um, sang was the anth was the anthem singer once again tonight. Um, he's he often does it. Um, but the the um, Vancouver Giants they got off to a, f a very fast start at 4:29 of the first period. Justin Shudoff um, scored his first of the season, assisted by Fabian Lassalle, which was um, um, a very quick into the first period. But not too long after that, Adam Hall got his first of the season, assisted by Damian Palmieri and Justin Shudoff. That was at six, um, six um, fifty-seven of the of the first period, and that was actually the insurance goal. Um, because it was a it was a five nothing final, but to finish off the scoring, um, it was Connor Horning scored at at seven twenty four of the first period. That was assisted by Justin Lee and Damian Palmieri. Peyton um, Mantoon would um, score in the first period, assisted by Ty Thorpe and Connor Henning, and the score would stay that way until eighteen fifty nine of the third period when Maison Lessie would score. From Ada Hall and Jaden um, um, Lipinski, there was a parade of penalties um, um, in, in the uh, in, in the game, so I don't think I need to read all the penalties off. Um, but nobody scored in the power play tonight, which was very interesting. Um, and the skaters, the vein, the goaltenders, uh, of course, were um, um, the. Uh, Jesper Vickman went the distance, recording his first shutout of the season. Well, it's game one, right? So it's got to be his first shutout. And the um, Sebastian Warsnitsky, he started it in net, but he didn't have a very um, good game. He did make some great saves, but at, at 724, he was um, um, relieved by the game's second star, Tyler Primary, um, who actually stopped 40 of 42 shots. And um, Sebastian Wierzynski, the starting goaltender, made three of six saves, but there's a couple of saves that were really l l like like pretty good saves, I would say. Then the arena was the, uh, in the course of Victoria Save on Foods Memorial Center. The game started at, at 7.23 after that long ceremony, and it took two hours and 23 minutes to play. The announced attendance to the building was 3,006, and he announced it as a a COVID sellout, meaning the um, due to BC um, legislation, we can only have half capacity. So it, it was a good night. And the, and the referees and linesmen that we talked about in the pregame show, Stephen Campbell was a was a referee with Greedy Hamilton um, and Liam Reed and Nathan Van Osten were the linesmen tonight. We always like to give a salute to them. Um, we'll continue... Um, to do so we start working just as hard to make the NHL and 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 this was the first time in five years the Royals faced the Giants in a home opener. The two teams faced off in the Victoria in 2017-8 season which the Royals defeated the Giants that night 7-1. There were 6,500 um, um, fans in that game and in that game um, Kurt Matthew, Flame, Matthew um, Phillips played in that game was the star of the game and and Griffin Outhouse was a winning goaltender on that night. But the upcoming games are Friday, the October the 8th, when the Kelowna Rockets will be in town. We'll have a full game report uh, of that as well. The, the Saturday game, um, October 
the ninth. Um, they're also playing Kelowna. I'll probably do some sort of report on that game too, but I don't think I'll be at that game because on the Sunday morning, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'll be running in the Victoria Half Marathon. So please like and subscribe. If there's any other details you want me to talk about in these game reports, um, please let me know. But like I said in the beginning, this was a home opener and a season opener for the Victoria Royals. And today's date, of course, is October 2nd, 2021. This is Coach Rob saying bye for now.